<laughs> you want a bit of a dear Rick? Yes. This is a good one, this. Uh, again, this might be a little video clip we might use, but it's a really um, something that you'll have possibly some experience with in a good way and a bad way, potentially. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to name the person's name, which should be become evident why. Love the show, and thanks, Rick, for bringing me back to the game. Um, I have quite an issue I don't know how to deal with. After taking a long time off from golf for about 10 years, I decided to join um, a local course and take it more seriously. I enlisted the service of a local instructor I found, instructor I found online. So far, we've done about 15 lessons, and he was re he's really made my game so much better, even to the point where my uh, wife now goes for lessons every two weeks. So even though I found him online, I think he's going obviously face-to-face -to, -face to, to have lessons with him. The issue is, I feel I have pretty much maxed out learning from him. I don't feel like I'm getting my money's worth anymore, and I want to continue with somebody else. Maybe a pro has got a simulator, etc., to show me more analytics. The instructor, I can't, well, I can't say the, word instru the instructor and I have become good friends, and I don't know many people um, around the area, so we play together monthly as well. So he's become a bit of a friend as well as a coach. How do I professionally and personally let him know that I want to start seeing a new golf coach? He, he will still be teaching my wife, and I'm always willing to play a team with him, but I want to take it more serious. I don't think he's up for the task. Um, with love and respect, I'd like to hear your opinion on this. It is an interesting one because, yeah, I have had situations like this. You know, I, I would say, let me let me just break this down into two ways of responding. So, golfer, we'll mm -hmm. call him. Can we call him like Frank? Yeah. Okay. So Frank, who is that? Actually, is Frank? <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so Frank who goes to this golf coach and obviously seen great improvement after 15 lessons he feels like he's maxed out I think it's a couple of things I think first off don't maybe you've got to ex you've got to um, manage your expectation levels because you do see fast improvement early with lessons yeah. so the first three or four lessons or maybe five lessons that's where you're probably going to see the vast majority of your improvement because that's where the biggest changes are made then over that next period of time if you, again if you've been for 15 golf lessons now it's probably more the quantity of lessons that you've taken as opposed to the quality of lessons that you've taken because i'm sure the quality has been really good um so for me it's it, it's maybe you don't maybe have to go and search a different golf coach unless you're actually looking at a certain topics. So let's say, let's say for example, Frank goes to this coach who's called Tommy, and Tommy says, you know, I'm actually um, Frank says I need to work on my putting, but and he says, well, actually, I've booked in with a putting coach. Like work it with Tommy yeah. to go and see a putting coach or some a specialist in that area. Um, if you weren't getting on with them, then potentially, yeah, just break it away and and you know, go go off somewhere else. I, I've had that experience in the past where I've had students move to other golf coaches and I've had coaches, uh, I've had other students move to me from other golf coaches. And sometimes just a fresh pair of eyes makes a massive difference the way it's explained or the way it's demonstrated or whatever it may be. Um, I think where it's probably got messy in this situation is become friends. Yeah. And I must admit that's probably the mistake that's been made as opposed to it being the wrong coach. Because I think as soon as you become friendly with a student, too friendly, it it, it loses that that purpose. Do you think there's also an element, I'm probably going to say this word wrong now, it's on my mind, but that um, the law of diminishing returns mm -hmm. where it's like, obviously once it gets to a certain point, other things have to change. So maybe he's gone to this coach for 15 lessons and let's just say naturally he's improved his grip, his swing, his, his strike, etc. He's getting a bit better at golf, but he's at the point now where unless he starts working on his fitness or playing a hell of a lot more or hitting a loads more balls, he's just not going to improve. And it's almost the coach is irrelevant, yeah, potentially. Yeah, potentially. And, and the other thing as well is how much is Frank coming back to Tommy with information? Like, is is he playing three times a week and coming back to Tommy and going, right, this is what I want to work on, X, Y, and Z. This is where I feel like my weaknesses are. Or is he just playing once a week, having a lesson once a week, or whatever it may be, and not actually coming back with any any evidence of things to improve? But I think, like I said, that's the one balance, and I've always tried to be really, really strict with it, is the, the friend slash professional relationship when you're working with a student needs to be coach and student mm. in my opinion i think as soon as you cross that boundary between friends it gets really really tricky because again let's say you know and i don't really coach any of my friends let's say even though you know they've asked me for advice in the past is because you end up chatting yeah you don't end up working like you end up talking about girlfriends or going out or whatever it may be instead of actually what we're going to work on right now 
in your, you're my student, I'm your coach, we're going to work on this. Um, I think it takes a very interesting mix of characters if you can still be friendly and have that really strict working relationship as well. Sounds good. <laughs> so Tommy and Frank. <laughs> um, I, Frank wants to try someone else, go for it. Uh, I would maybe just explain it to Tommy. We've become too friendly. And you do me, Eddie, and I'm sick of your rubbish joke. Rubbish at golf, you put me off. I don't want to play with you anymore. Yeah. Um,